we lead, we must lead through our slips, through our struggles, through our stories, and yes, of course, also through our strengths. But if we only try to lead with perfection, then what are we teaching everybody else? That they need to be, perf that they need to be perfect. And that's not sustainable. Relatability is one of the most powerful tools that you have in leadership. Relatability is powerful because when we see ourselves in someone else, we believe that we can. This is why representation matters so much. As you look around your board, does your board reflect what you want your membership to look like? As you think about the leadership, and, and, and as, as Adam br br brilliantly talked about, if you want younger members, then you gotta have younger people for people to be able to see. Those kinds of things are powerful. Representation is really powerful. Relatability is critical in leadership. We talk a lot about credibility, and credibility is important. Please be credible, as a matter of fact. When I'm talking about credibility, I'm talking about your accolades, your titles, the things that you've won, the fact that your community voted you the best blank business, et cetera, et cetera, those kinds of things. I'm talking about your titles, right? You're a, you're a vice president, you're a C-suite executive, you're a, you're a board uh, director, you're et cetera, et cetera. Those titles are beautiful. It's about who you know, right? Oh, look at my Rolodex. Yes, I still use the term Rolodex. We're here, though. Here we go. But, right, it's about your education. Congratulations, you have a PhD. Congratulations, you have a master's. You have a bachelor's. Or congratulations. Congratulations, you've lived an entire life longer than me and you've never gotten one degree, but your life circumstances have given you an education far greater than a piece of paper could tell me sometimes, right? Whatever education may, means to you. Your credibility or your numbers or your results. Q2 we did this, by Q4 we were doing this. It's incredible. What's that impact that you've had? Credibility is extremely important. Please be credible. But I also want you to think about relatability in the way that you lead. When I talk about relatability, I'm not just talking about your accolades, why does that matter? I'm a, I'm a potential member who's never banked with a credit union before. Congratulations, you've done X, Y, and Z. Why does that matter to me? Right? Those kinds of things are important, landing the plane for folks. It's not your title, it's what did you learn along the way to getting that title. It's not who you know, it's what did those people teach you. It's not your education or your degree that you got, it's what are you doing with the education that you now have. If you have knowledge and you're not sharing it, then you're wasting other people's times. Right? And it's not your numbers and your results, it's your process. Maybe you've heard about your dash before. What are you going to do with your dash? If you look at someone's tombstone, this is not my concept, by the way. This is a concept that was taught by Simon T. Bailey and, and another uh, beautiful woman who's a, who's a poet who, wrote, who talked about this. If you look at a tombstone, it says the person's name died this day, dash died, and, uh, sorry, born this way, day, dash died this day. The smallest article on the tombstone is the dash. Your entire life is a dash on a tombstone. What are you doing with it? That's what they teach. How I apply it to this is you have to teach people the dash of your success. You have to people teach people that it wasn't we had an idea, so we did it, and now we're rich. Huzzah! No. <laughs> it's we tried this idea, and people thought we were stupid, and some people told us no, and we couldn't get funding for it, and then I doubted myself, and then I went to counseling, and then I said maybe I could, and then I started getting people, and I got support, and now here we are today, and here's what we learned along the way. That is powerful, and it's not just the direct impact, it's what emotions were stirred. Your credibility does not make you a great leader, but the way you tell your story about it does.